Hey guys, welcome to the 28th C Sharp tutorial that I'm making for the new Boston. And in this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to use structs or structures. So all you're going to need for this tutorial is a button. And now we're going to create our first struct. So in order to create a struct, you're first going to want to type the keyword struct. Just type struct, and then following that, you're just going to want to give a name to your, to your struct. I'm going to call it client, and you'll see why later. And then after that, you're just going to want to put um, two curly braces. And now inside of these curly braces is where we're going to type all the things that will go inside of our struct. So now I'm going to show you why you would use struct. So here we have um, a string for a client's name, and we have an integer for a client's age. Well, say we wanted to create another client. So we'd have to copy this and change this to like client one and change all this. Well, this isn't too bad for only having um, two clients and only having uh, like a couple properties for each client. Like all we have is age and uh, name. Well, say we had like 40 clients and we had um, like not only their name and their age being um, stored, but also their address and their email address and their phone number and stuff like that. So that's pretty impractical to have, to have to create a new um, string for each uh, person's name and stuff like that. So what we can do is we can create a struct. And inside of our struct, since we want to store the uh, client's name, we're going to create a new public string for the client's name. And then we're going to create um, a public integer for their age. So basically what this struct will allow us to do is will allow us to store the client's name and age right inside the struct. So now we can just go back and delete this here and we can create a new instance of our client struct. Let's call it client1 so equal to a new client struct. Now instead of having to do like string client's name we can do client one dot um, name, and then set that equal to the client's name. So we can do Adam, and we can do client one dot age name fifteen. All right. So now, if we wanted to create another client, all we have to do is create um, a new uh, client. So we do client, I guess two equals a new client. Client one dot name equals um, Joe, and we can do oh, we can do client two since this is the second client. We can do client two dot age equals twenty seven. All right, so now as you can see, this is a much more organized way to store your clients' information. Also, you can access it much easier. And inside of structs, you can have methods. So say we wanted to create a method so that we, it will clear all of the client's information. So we'll just make it this, this be a void. We'll call it clear client info. So now we can just do name equals empty string and do age equals zero. So now, now that we have this method right here, we and if we want to clear the client's information, we don't have to do like um, client one dot um, name equals an empty string. We can just do client one dot clear client info, and that will just clear out all the client's information. You can also add um, uh, properties and indexers to your struct. You can also add events as well, but we haven't learned that yet. So you can um, also add a constructor for your struct. So do CTOR, and here we have a constructor. But when you have a constructor, if you have any um, fields, and a field is just a variable, if you have any fields right here, then we have to set those equal to something. So we're going to do name equals nothing, and we'll do age equals zero. Or otherwise, we'll get an error. Also, when we create our struct, it must um, pass uh, one at least a parameter. So we'd have to do like string, I guess, name, and then we could do 
its name equals well, make that lowercase so an error. But yeah, so you have to have at least um, one parameter so that there'll always be a default parameter, uh, or there'll always be a default constructor where it doesn't set these equal to anything. So now if we did, you do a new client. And now we can either do the option of putting no, passing no parameters through, and it doesn't do anything with the variables inside of it, or we can pass a string, the name through, and it will automatically create a client for us. Also, client or structs cannot inherit from uh, classes or another struct. So, say we create another struct here, like, I don't know, my struct. We would get an error if we tried to um, inherit from this struct. Yeah, it, well, IntelliSense won't even want us, so yeah. The only thing that um, structs can inherit from is uh, interfaces. So if we were to create a new interface here where we have, I guess we'll just call this I client. If we were to just have like public string name in here, or yeah, public string name, say we had like um, a whole bunch of different types of clients, like a whole bunch of different client structs, well then we could just use this cli iClient interface right here, and we could use, um, well I put all the different uh, properties in here, but yeah we could, we could use all these uh, properties from the interface. Um, so I think that's pretty much it on structs, so see you guys.